I told our girls we would have to play 40 minutes if we wanted to get a win, and uh, Georgia stayed true to that. Uh, Coach Abe just does a phenomenal job. We knew this was going to be a tough game for us, and we would need to come out and play our best basketball in order to get a win here. Um, so I'm just really, really grateful for that um, <clears throat> and, and grateful for our fans that came out to support us um, amidst the storm. What things for Coach Armani? Coach's first game against uh, Georgia inside the segment uh, with Coach Abe's patented pressing defense. Can you talk a little bit about what the challenge of going up against that? Um, I mean, it, it's just the consistency. You have to break it consistently. I think that is the biggest thing about the press. As soon as you think you have it figured out, you try to get cute and be undisciplined and inconsistent, and then all of a sudden you turn the ball over and they get uh, transition baskets. And so we really wanted to limit live ball turnovers because we knew that that, that was a part of their offensive um, production. With just a couple of minutes left to go in the fourth, you guys are leading fast break points, 14-2. to two. What was the message to your team coming in tonight? It was to keep punching, uh, don't not not literally, uh, but just to keep attacking, you know, just to keep attacking, and that's why even when we got the lead, I was like, you, I, I was like, come on, go, and we were getting layups off of it. One of the things that Georgia does a good job of, you're you're thinking, I can't turn it over, I can't turn it over, so you try to slow down. But really, you need to just meet it head on and be aggressive. That's why we were able to score 22 points in the first quarter, and that's why we were able to get in the 14 uh, to two run when we needed it. Ninth straight win, and you'll be heading out to Alabama or playing against Alabama next. Uh, talk about your, the what you guys are going to work on in the next couple of days and what this ninth win means to your team. Well, they probably want a day off. Uh, <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, we're just going to watch some film, and, and uh, we're five games in conference. Our team knows our defensive identity. That's a huge plus for us. It does allow me to give them some time to rest and for us to do probably a mental prep tomorrow and go after it on Saturday. We're going to be pumped up. The fans are going to be there on Sunday. It's alumni day. I'm not going to have to get them pumped up for that game. Our team understands how important that game is to get a quad one uh, victory, victory, just like tonight was. So uh, we're just going to try to enjoy this on the flight back. And then, you know, we, we have a really short memory. You know, we, we like to move on because uh, – I don't know if you ever heard of an alligator getting killed, but they usually get killed when they get fat after they eat. Uh, so we want to stay hungry. We don't want to be the fat alligator, all right? Because, um, and if that's offensive to the animal lovers, I'm sorry, it's just a fact. <laughs> I, I, I'm really messing up, so I should let Maddie talk. So we, we just don't want to settle. We don't want to take anything for granted. We, we want to be the aggressors. Um, coach just harped all week that this is going to be a fight, you know, so I wanted to come in ready and just ready to help on my team in any way I could, you know, so I, I was I was happy I was able to do so, and it was a, it was a good night, good win. You were nodding your head a lot when she was talking about having a short memory. What was some moments you guys have had experienced this season and what you're going to take from this game moving forward? Um, we're going to take the, this, this is the SEC, you know, every night is going to be a battle, you know, we saw that tonight, you know. Uh, in particular, I got careless with the ball the last minute and a half of the game, and you know I'm gonna learn from that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch that film and, and learn from it. But um, no, it's just it's just knowing that there's always gonna be a fight. You know, mm -hmm. there's always gonna be a big game. You know, we always gotta take care of the ball. You know, play well for 40 minutes. You know, so that's what we want to do moving forward. Mm -hmm. You know, so we want to learn from this game, watch film, and just like Coach said, we have short memory. You know, we we feel like now our next our next our next task is beating Alabama. You know. We're going to enjoy the win on the way back, but it's on to the next. You know, we have a lot of goals, and we're trying to just keep breaking barriers, keep going. Undefeated start to conference play, starting out the slate. What does this mean about your team, and what do you guys look to accomplish moving forward? Um, it, it feels good to be undefeated. Let me just say that. Shout out to Coach Yo and, and, and the whole staff and my teammates. It, it feels really good, you know, to be undefeated. But, again, we, we're on to the next. That's right. We're hungry. There's so much work to be done. We're not satisfied. 
Um, and we're just excited for the next test at hand. We're excited to go play Bama at home, and we're going to play hard, play the Ole Miss way, and get that dub. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.